Welcome back everybody. So this evening we are burning piles on the back half acres. You can see I cut a bunch of this down. It got overgrown. So we're in wet season so it's safe to burn here. You just put your piles and burn. Did a lot of clearing out here. See the house back there. Getting ready to uh, put in some more fencing as you can see. Got some of the holes dug. Another brace pole. We'll run this red line all the way down to the end of the property. There's my wife, Catherine. She's working uh, around the cohoon trees that I trimmed this morning. These are both on our property. Both these big cohoons are on our property. So that is what we are doing this evening, is getting this property ready to be fenced. And this is where we're going to be adding sheep and goats. As you can see, I'm gonna walk out here towards the end real quick. In the very corner. You can see I burn a lot of this back here, which is really good. This stuff grows back so fast, so once it's burnt, it comes back greener and even thicker, which is good because there's a lot of special grass in here for sheep and stuff. But you can see how much. There's Milo. Milo! As you can see how much property is back here. And this whole thing is going to be fenced in and ready to go. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update on what we're doing this evening. Um, this this rainy season, man, the rain has been non-stop this year. Seems like every every day and every night we're getting torrential downpour. So we've been able to save a lot of water. Uh, Everything is doing pretty good. All the citrus is growing good, the lemongrass, avocado trees, the pomegranates, the avocado trees, the breadfruit trees, the limes, the Tahitian limes, pretty much pineapple, yucca. Uh, we got a, just about a little bit of everything. Pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. So yeah, we got just about a little bit of everything. Um, but that's what we wanted. We, uh, we prime, oh, we have dragon fruit too. Oh, dragon fruit, yes. So we pretty much prim primarily planted what we like to eat. And that's, you know, our purpose of this homestead here is for it to be self-sufficient for us. Uh, what we like to eat, um, I'm probably going to uh, try my hand at tilapia this year coming to with the amount of rain that we've gotten. I got a runoff here on the property and, um, if I get a pond dug not too big put a liner down in there i should be able to get some tilapia out of it so just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how the homestead's coming and i've been uh kind of falling short on that i know that's why a lot of you guys follow us is because what we're doing out here so uh i appreciate you guys following us i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and give you guys one more pan around all right so This is it. Working hard, burning, getting it ready. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I do have a water sprayer out here just in case, but this time of year it's pretty much only the dead stuff that I cut. That burns, everything else is pretty much green, as you can see, so. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Uh, we got a lot more videos coming out. Got a lot more updates on the homestead. Got a lot more planned for the homestead. 
Really, really enjoying it here. Have a great one, everybody.